Hello, welcome to Blunt Memorial's Joint Replacement Program. I'm Angela, a registered nurse at Blunt Memorial and a member of the Joint Replacement Care Team. The team includes departments of surgery, nursing, case management, and rehabilitation, which includes physical and occupational therapies. We want to give you some more information about your upcoming knee surgery to help you have an excellent experience. Hopefully, you received a book from your surgeon's office with more details and you have had a chance to review it. Preoperative planning. One of the first steps in pre-op planning is to identify who your coach or support person will be. This person may provide supervision, transportation, and assistance after surgery. Next, the pre-op testing department will determine when you need to come in for lab work. They will call to review your medical history and give you surgery day instructions, including your arrival time and medications to take the morning of surgery. You will receive instructions for showers with special soap to be done every day for three days before your surgery and nasal ointment for five days before surgery. It's very important to complete these to reduce your risk of infection. Also during this prep phase, do not use lotions or powders to the operative site or apply nail polish on fingers or toes. The program coordinator may call you before your surgery and is available to answer questions you may have during this time of planning. When packing for the hospital, bring comfortable clothing that's easy to get on and rubber-soled shoes. If you already have a standard rolling walker, plan to bring it with you. If you do not have one, case management will arrange obtaining one for you to take home with you. If you use a CPAP machine to support your breathing at night, remember to bring it with you when you check in. Surgery day activities. On the day of your surgery, you will meet your anesthesiologist and surgery team. You will receive IV antibiotics to prevent infection and medications to help control your pain level and nausea you may experience after surgery. The surgery lasts about an hour and then you will be in recovery room for about an hour until you are awake enough to go to your room on the joint replacement unit. You will have a special bandage that creates a seal to help prevent infection. You will wear compression sleeves on your legs to prevent blood clots and do deep breathing exercises to prevent pneumonia. Some patients may have a surgical drain that nurses empty and will usually be removed before going home. Knee replacement patients will receive an ice therapy cube device which you will take home with you. It circulates ice cold water through a sleeve on your knee to help reduce swelling. Our goal is that physical and occupational therapies will see you the day of your surgery to get you up and moving since this is very important for your recovery. You will learn exercises, how to use your walker, and other skills to prepare you to get up and around safely once you are back to your home environment. The nurses will give you pain medicine when you ask for it, usually about every four hours. Remember, we can't always eliminate 100% of the pain, but our goal is to reduce it to a more tolerable level. Therapy while in the hospital. During your hospital stay, physical therapy will be a very important aspect of your care. They will help you safely return to a more independent status after your joint replacement surgery. Physical therapy will assist with instructing you to move in and out of bed, walk safely with a walker, and go up and down stairs. They will also provide you with an exercise program necessary for your recovery and teach you how to perform the exercises. When doing these at home, be sure to choose an area easy to get up and down from, such as your bed. We recommend you start the exercises at least a few days before your surgery trying to complete 10 to 15 reps two to three times a day. Since this is the plan you will follow after surgery, it's helpful to already be in the habit of this routine. These exercises are in the back of your book if you would like to follow along for more details on performing them. They are ankle pumps, gluteal sets, quad sets, short arc quads, and heel slides. The physical therapist will teach you all that you need to know to complete all your mobility skills safely. Good morning. Good morning. In addition to physical therapy, occupational therapy services will be provided during your hospital stay to teach you how to safely return to the activities that are important to you. They will also talk to you about how to modify things in your home for safety when you return. 
please refer to your book for suggestions with this. The occupational therapist will evaluate your abilities following surgery and focus on teaching you how to dress, bathe, and complete toileting without risking injury to your new joint. Your therapist may suggest adaptive equipment or tools to help you manage these activities related to pain while maintaining safety and help you follow your physician's orders. The most common items can be purchased as a hip kit. The long-handled sponge will help you reach your feet to wash them. The long-handled shoehorn helps to put on your shoes without bending over. The sock aid will help you put on your socks without bending over as well. You simply just put the socks on the sock aid, insert your foot, hold the ropes, then drop the sock aid to the floor while pulling on the ropes evenly until your sock is completely on your foot. The reacher helps you put on pants or get dressed without bending over and also reach any items to promote safety as well. Your occupational therapist will have these items available for you to practice with during your therapy session. They can also advise you on where to purchase them if you decide these are things you would benefit from having at home. Discharge planning. Your surgeon will have determined if you meet the appropriate criteria to go home the same day as your procedure or if you will need to stay overnight. Once you are stable, tolerating food, are able to urinate, are safe getting up and around with therapy, with a tolerable pain level, you'll be discharged home. Our case management team includes an RN case manager and a discharge planner. They meet with you following your surgery to determine your needs and coordinate your discharge plan from the hospital. We hope to achieve a smooth and successful discharge for you and your family. You may have spoken to your surgeon at the office about your discharge options and already have an idea about what your plan may be. A rolling walker will be needed after joint replacement surgery. If you don't have one, we will order it and have it delivered to your room to take home with you. Other equipment such as a bedside commode, elevated commode, shower chair or bench may be needed but are not usually covered by insurance. If you need these items, we recommend you purchase them prior to surgery. Although most patients are discharged home with therapy in the outpatient clinic, some may require more assistance in the home and need home health for therapy. If your surgeon orders home health, you will choose which agency to use and the case management team will make those arrangements. Please keep in mind, if you use home health for your first therapy, it would only be for one to two weeks until you're able to transition to the outpatient therapy clinic. It's very important to plan ahead for surgery, expecting to return home and have the help that you need identified before coming to the hospital. Very few patients go to an inpatient rehabilitation facility after joint replacements since these surgeries are considered outpatient or observation procedures by Medicare. Insurance companies do not always approve discharges to these inpatient rehabilitation facilities. So discuss this with your surgeon ahead of time if you have a desire to go to an inpatient rehabilitation facility or nursing home. The arrangements will be made once approved by your insurance in the days following your surgery if it is determined to be the discharge destination most appropriate for you. Finally, the last decision to consider is your method of transportation to home at discharge. Most patients travel home by car, but if an ambulance transport is determined necessary, please be aware that most insurances do not cover the cost for ambulances. The case management department is looking forward to seeing you after your surgery and helping you have an excellent experience here at Blunt Memorial Hospital. Preventing complications after you go home. You should have appointments to continue physical therapy in one to three days and also with your surgeon and primary medical doctor within one to two weeks following the surgery. The three main complications we work to prevent are infection, blood clots, and pneumonia. To prevent infection, you will keep the sealed water resistant bandage on until your office appointment and also follow good hygiene routines with frequent hand washing. Also take any antibiotics as prescribed. To prevent blood clots, we will have started you on a blood thinner that you will continue twice daily after you are home. 
The surgeon will specify whether you continue this medicine for two or four weeks after discharge. Knee replacements will continue using the cold therapy machine as instructed to reduce swelling and pain. You will continue deep breathing exercises at home for two weeks as well to prevent pneumonia. Please call your surgeon's office if you have concerns about symptoms of infection, dislocation, or blood clots. You will find these symptoms listed on your discharge paperwork. Also, remember to call for an antibiotic prescription before having a surgical procedure, any dental work, or colonoscopy for at least two years following this surgery or as recommended by your surgeon. Drink plenty of fluids to stay hydrated and take a stool softener or laxative to prevent constipation, which can be a side effect of your pain medications. Outpatient therapy post-surgery. You will likely receive a phone call from Blunt Memorial's Total Rehabilitation to set up your first therapy appointment for after you leave the hospital, but you may choose any therapy clinic in your area. Please make sure you have scheduled your outpatient therapy appointment to start one to three days after you are discharged from the hospital. You will continue with therapy two or three times a week for six to 12 weeks, depending on your progress. So be sure the clinic you choose is convenient to where you live with an easily accessible entrance. If you are planning to have home health for therapy or go to an inpatient rehabilitation facility, then you will arrange your outpatient therapy following completion of those therapy treatments. In addition to the phone numbers in the back of your joint replacement booklet, here are some additional numbers that may be useful to you. If you have chosen a Blunt Memorial Clinic for your therapy, please call the Outpatient Physical Therapy Scheduling Line to schedule your first appointment one to three days after surgery. Direct questions about day of surgery information to the pre-op testing number. Direct questions for your doctor about medications, appointments, or clinical concerns to the office number. And any questions for guidance with planning for the surgery or hospital stay could be directed to the program coordinator. And again, we thank you for choosing Blunt Memorial for your joint replacement surgery.